I don't know how many of you have noticed, but the National Football League every October joins the effort to eliminate breast cancer by just throwing pink everywhere they can. Pink shoes on the players, pink uh, pink towels, uh, pink wristbands. It's, it's a lot of pink out there. They put pink on the field, various places, and on Sunday for the first time, they used pink penalty flags. And even the television networks televising NFL games, when they graphically tell the audience a flag has been thrown, that's usually in yellow. Even they were using pink. I didn't know this. I didn't know that they had added it. I'm just watching the games, and, and I'm seeing all what I think are a bunch of towels all over the field. Said, no, 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 those are penalty flags. They've been calling penalties. Anyway, the NFL has decided to pull back on the penalty flags. They're not going to use them starting next week. And for the same reason that happened to me, I didn't know when a flag was thrown or when somebody just dropped a towel out there. Pink is no longer the new yellow in the NFL. They won't will not use pink penalty flags after Monday night's Jets-Falcons game. The pink flags are part of the crucial catch campaign in support of breast cancer awareness, coupled with players' pink equipment, especially gloves and towels. The pink flags caused confusion among broadcasters, fans, players, and coaches on Sunday. So with the Thursday night game, the Giants and the Bears are going to bring back yellow flags and get back to uh, some sense of normalcy.